Hello and welcome to Bowler CBT Labs. My name is Matt Bowler and in this lab we will be taking a look at the Cisco SSL VPNs and the Cisco AnyConnect client. We will be implementing the SSL VPN on Cisco routers with uh, one of the more recent iOS versions. This is uh, let's see here. You can see it's the Advanced Enterprise 15.1-4, uh, which will allow us to utilize the SSL VPN and any Connect client licensing. Our basic topology here is a remote client that will be connecting over an untrusted network to our SSL VPN gateway over here on the right side of the screen. The remote client is located on my laptop and currently these two routers, the untrusted and the SSL VPN, are uh, running EIGRP. Untrust is advertising both networks here, 192.168 network and uh, the 10.0.0.1 SSL VPN is advertising for the 10.0.0.2 and the loopback interface is not being advertised. The IP addresses that you see in red will be our VPN traffic. The loopback interface will simulate an internal network, internal that is to the SSL VPN router, and our remote client will connect and be assigned an IP address that will fall within that local subnet. So this remote client uh, currently has what could be a public IP uh, or any sort of IP that's coming over the untrusted connection and once it makes its successful connection via the AnyConnect client it will be assigned a 172.16.1.10 address. Uh, it, it could fall anywhere within the range that we define once we configure the actual web VPN on the router, uh, which we will get into shortly, but the IP that it will be grabbing first in that range is the IP that you see here in red. To move forward with this, there are a couple things that we need first. You must have an AnyConnect client, and ideally you will have that package installed on the router so that when a user connects to the gateway, if they do not have that AnyConnect client software, they will connect to the SSL VPN gateway and have an opportunity to download that package from the router itself. So that streamlines that process and creates that direct connection, uh, fairly straightforward and simple format there. We will demonstrate that as well in this lab, and you will see how the user interface is presented through that web VPN. As I mentioned before, the two routers here are currently routing for EIGRP. Uh, if I do a show IP route on the SSL VPN, you can see that I can ping all the way across to my client computer. So obviously end-to-end -end connectivity is essential here uh, if I'm the remote.